Hello everyone, on today's IRS tax refund update, we'll take a look at the latest developments in regards to those ongoing tax refund delays, including the next batch of refunds that have just been released by the IRS. And with more taxpayers reporting they are receiving their refunds, also comes those who are indicating they are receiving reduced refund amounts. So we'll take a look at the three common reasons why that is happening, as well as recapping some of those tax transcripts codes you may be seeing. Starting off with the latest batch of tax refund direct deposits that have been released and transmitted overnight by the IRS to those that were part of the August 10th batch. While most will receive that direct deposit the day of, it may take others an additional day or two to receive. However, do allow up until August 15th to receive. If you're part of this week's refund batch and waiting on a paper check, those will be sent out again on August 12th. Now, as more taxpayers are reporting receiving their refunds, a number of them, including our viewers, are reporting they are receiving reduced refund amounts, in some cases by thousands of dollars. There are a variety of reasons why this is happening, but we're going to take a look at the three top reasons why it is happening this year, starting off with those who received those advanced child tax credit payments in 2021. Now, earlier this year, the IRS sent out letter 6419 detailing the amount of CTC payments that were paid out that taxpayers were supposed to report on their taxes. It was later discovered the IRS listed the incorrect amount in certain cases, while other taxpayers did not receive the letter at all and guessed the amount they received. So while the IRS will auto-adjust your refunds, this will lead to delays even for those who did not claim CTC, as millions were impacted, causing a backlog of other tax returns. Recovery rebate credits are another cause of those refund adjustments. Now this credit is to be claimed by those who did not receive the latest stimulus payment, but in a number of cases, the IRS is denying the credit even though the taxpayer never received such payment. So single filers will see a $1,400 reduction, while married filers will see a $2,800 reduction due to this. If you were denied the RRC and in fact never received that third stimulus payment, you will want to initiate a payment trace with the IRS to identify what happened to that payment. Since it is extremely difficult to reach the IRS by phone, it is advised you print out IRS Form 3911 and fax it to the IRS to begin that payment trace. And the third reason for those refund reductions is past due obligations such as child support, state income taxes, and outstanding balance to another federal agency. If you're among this impacted group, your refund status results will look like the one seen here to the right with tax topic code 203 listed. Now turning to those tax transcripts, many of you have been checking over the past several months, which are gonna be more reliable than the information seen on those refund status results. The two most common codes those experiencing delays are seeing are the 570 and 971 codes. Code 570 indicates your return is under review and it could be as a result of a variety of things which include a discrepancy in wage information you entered on your return versus what your employer submitted to the IRS. It could be also missing information such as income not reported or a tax credit that was improperly claimed. As it may be some time for the IRS to send out another notice and with the difficulty reaching them by phone, it is advised you contact the taxpayer advocate or work with your congressional representative as they can work to determine what was on the notice and if further action is required on your part. Several of our viewers have indicated the difficulty of reaching the taxpayer advocate through their main phone line. If you're among those experiencing issues reaching them, it is advised you contact your local taxpayer advocate's office instead as you may have some better success rate reaching them and getting assistance versus trying to reach them through the main phone line. We will include a link to find your local one in the description box below. Code 971 will indicate the IRS has sent a notice out in regards to the issue. Now this is important for those of you still waiting who have received no notices but are seeing a 971 code with a 2022 date. That means there was a notice sent that was never delivered to you and within the lost notice could very well indicate the cause of your refund hold such as the need to complete ID verification or to submit documentation for a dependent. Meanwhile, code 424 indicates a potential problem that causes your refund to be set aside for further examination, again, such as wage and income discrepancies, while code 420 indicates an audit, which may easily be addressed by submitting requested documentation. You will see a 971 code at some point following a 420 code, while code 421 means the audit has been closed. Now, if you have other codes, let us know in the comment section below, and we will post those as well. Besides those codes, let us know the issues you're facing in regards to your refund delays in the comments section below. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the thumbs up and subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.